This is the pop business as the customers see it. The groups and the fans see pops as one long swing and ring-a-ding rave up, a ball, a good time. But the agents, the managers, and all the other promoters see it differently. To them, it's business, and the pop groups are the human merchandise. I want to love you night and day. Oh, well, you know my love and I'll fade away. Oh, well, you know my love and I'll fade away. Only three long years ago, there were two young men who were making money for themselves and for lots of other people besides. One of them was Terry Dean, born Williams, once hailed as Britain's Elvis Presley. He spoke to us as he walked, 24 years old and alone, among the empty dreams of Denmark Street in London, Tin Pan Alley itself. My stardom disappeared almost overnight. I went to various doctors and people for advice. I even spoke to some people in the business. But it's very, very difficult sometimes to explain some things inside you that seem to go wrong. In 1960, which is all of four years ago, Ricky Valance sang a song called Tell Laura I Love Her. The record sold a quarter of a million copies and so won a silver disc. Today, Ricky Valance can walk along the crowded promenade at Bridlington in Yorkshire and nobody turns a head. In a seafront cafe, Ricky, aged 25, looks back on the young Ricky, aged 21. As one can imagine at this particular time, I made quite a lot of money from Tal Laura and the other records. But I was an idiot at the time because I felt that there was plenty more where this came from. <laughs> Unfortunately, this was my big mistake, and a lot of other people's too. The thing is, <coughs> at this particular moment, I would like to say that uh, I have learned from my mistakes. I really have learned. And uh, I feel that given another chance, I really feel this, after studying it from quite a wide angle, that if I could just get another chance again, I think I could really make it again. Mm -hmm. 